No, for God's sake. The opener of episode 10, Ms. Assam, featured in this huge mural. I think the funny part for Mai Ling is, of course he gets noticed. Of course he gets all this gratitude. Everyone was going, oh, is this so cool? You see a mural of yourself in the wall? I thought it was funny. I think my nose was too big. When I read that Andrew Koji was going to be painted on a mural, I laughed because that's just not Andrew Koji's style, which is why he's perfect to play us on because it's not Assam's style either. And I think that's what I love about the show is like even in the darkest moments, we find moments of humor and levity. The mural was just something that, that, that came together in the writer's room, this idea that a folk hero would be born out of the ashes of a riot, that that folk hero would be a Assam, and that it would cause even greater divisions among his allies. Seeing Assam celebrated angers Young June, it annoys Mai Ling, and it excites Atoy. It's an opportunity. You're a symbol to your people. Atoy was always one of the people who saw the true promise that Assam had. And the fact that the people of Chinatown celebrated him proves Atoy right. The fuck is this? I can't do it anymore. I think the thing that really pushes Lee over the edge is the complete loss of control during the riot. We're not meant to succeed, Bill. We're just bagging flies with politicians while I count their votes. And knowing how far things have gone with Bill, there's a certain level of acceptance to knowing what Bill is. And I think he's just not willing to fight anymore to try and help Bill redeem himself. I haven't known you for very long, but I do know that you're better than this. When Lee resigns, Bill is devastated. He's not just losing a friend. He's not just losing a professional asset. He also feels responsible. So Lee leaving Bill is it's the last straw. We can't afford to be fighting amongst each other. You mean you can't afford it? I just don't want to be at war with my own brother anymore. What? What brother? That was such a fun scene. There's so much tension when that bomb drops. What the hell was that? A last resort. When Leon kind of gives her hell about like, well, you could have warned me. It's true, it's like, I had no idea I was gonna do that. It just so happened that he's pushing and he keeps pushing back Young June. And so I'm just gonna put him in his place. My wing aside, she's just got one more card to play, which is to separate Assam and Young June. Here's what I think. I think you've been lying to me since the day you got here. To find out that Assam is the sibling of her most hated rival is something that really sends him for a tailspin. You didn't throw that tournament. I know what I saw. We've been through too much for me to believe you have any loyalty to her. There are certain things that don't add up, but when he does the math, he realizes that he is loyal. His actions do not speak of someone who has been double-crossing. That being said, there's enough distrust that, although I forgive him, there's still lingering doubt. But when the time comes, and it's her or me, are you gonna make the right choice? Mrs. Blake, I'm so sorry for your loss. What happened was just awful. But you don't actually know what happened. Nobody does, except me. I'm talking about an exclusive. When Penny went and sold the story, she thinks she's cleared Jacob's name. When she finds out that the reporter had been bought, she's so pissed off. You bastard! So you're buying reporters now? The final straw is when she touches him in such a violent way. He calculates what he needs to do, and he does it. When Buckley picks up that letter opener, everyone should be sure he's going to attack Penny, but he wants her out of the way, and he, he finds a way to punish her for going up against him. So I read that, and I was like, what? Like, are you, wh what? Help! She stabbed me! Come on with us. She stabbed me! She stabbed yourself! When that era, a man with one word could have a woman committed. This means so much to her that she can come across like she's losing it so that when she's committed, everyone's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And now the question is, is she gonna be able to sort of emerge from this more powerful, or is she gonna emerge from this deranged? What happens now? I'm thinking I'm gonna kick your Irish ass in front of all your buddies here. We knew the season was gonna end with Assam and Leary fighting each other. There's really a lot of understanding between them and they're kind of fighting the same fight and that's why it became really fascinating to actually pit them against each other. So it was a hard shoot. It was three days of night shooting and trying to find these different moments, trying to go outside the choreography a bit, play with this, play with that, do this and do that. And so technically it was very difficult. O'Leary doesn't fight like a boxer. He's got his own style. When he's coming at you, he's coming at you like a trainer. 
It's a gentleman's rule. It's like, okay, you're the alpha male of the pack, I'm the alpha male of my pack. Let's fucking do this. Stay out of Chinatown, or I'll be back with a fucking army. I love shooting it this season. Everything really seemed to come together. It's pretty amazing the way we expanded the show. I think it opens up a whole other era of Chinese American history. This is what I love about the show. They have really smashed these characters together in this world. From the very beginning, I was immediately pulled into it. Everyone's stories descend further into the difficulty of living in Chinatown at the time. I think the resiliency was what was amazing about the Chinese community in San Francisco at this time. With all of the riots, with all the anger towards them, they bounced back and they rebuilt. It feels authentic to it, our time and the issues that we're still wrestling with. When you're telling an immigration story, it's always going to be about the family you have and the family you find. It's very much Bruce Lee's story coming together. Everybody did amazing, passionate about the show, and really loved their characters. My Ling was such a fun character to play. Just her trying to stand her ground as a woman in power. It's a really beautiful, well-made show full of passion, made by passionate people. It's exciting, different, and I think the way we wrote it and the way it was shot came out really beautifully. I'm not gonna say I was blown away by it. To see it all together like that, phenomenal. I felt like this season a tribute to the legend that Bruce Lee became in the way which feels organic to the story. It was amazing.